earnings season? It's been bleak. So if we look at the earnings season so far uh, in, you know, a few weeks in, more or less for S&P 500 companies, uh, sales are down about 2.5% year over year. Uh, earnings per share down about 4% year over year. And if you dig a little deeper, energy stocks, uh, sales are down like 35%. That's no great surprise. Uh, earnings per share is something down like 70% year, to day, uh, year over year, I'm sorry. Um, then you go on and on and on, and, and you see even industrial sales are down 8% year over year, earnings per share uh, down 5% year over year. So the trend is very clear. Now, I don't think that's going to change for the rest of the earnings season. Uh, you know, we continue to focus very much on the price of oil, so that's going to continue to be, you know, more or less going to set the tone for the near term. But I think, you know, people and for Wall Street is finally waking up to the fact that we might actually see a recession this year. Hang on. Did he just mention the R word? We, we use that strong word recession. And again, it's not necessarily a base case, but it's something I think, you know, more and more people are waking up to. Uh, we look at we look at the year over year growth rates. We look at China. We look at the deflationary forces that we've we've seen take hold uh, in from emerging markets to high yield to commodities all over for a couple of years now, at least, uh, you know, then from a cyclical aspect, we're at least for US, uh, the US economy, we're, you know, a, a good seven years into a cyclical expansion. And from that, ex from that perspective, we are more, le more or less overdue for, you know, maybe not an outright recession, but it doesn't really matter whether we call it a recession or not. If you see stocks, uh, you know, drop 20, 30% and you see, uh, you know, the sort of numbers I just mentioned uh, from year-over-year -year growth from a corporate perspective, that's not exactly growth. So where are the opportunities? So I'm, I'm expecting 2016 to be one of the great trading years for the past decade. Uh, and the reason I say that is because we are finally seeing volatile, volatile markets that are somewhat more calculated. I don't think we're going to see a 2008-2009 chaos, although those may be my, my, last, uh, my famous last words. Uh, but I think we're much more in, 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 a, in a situation that is somewhat controlled. Um, and, and so I think we're going to get a lot of opportunities to buy the, the dips and sell the rips. And that's sort of my theme for 2016. I think we're going to see wonderful trading opportunities uh, in some of the FANG stocks, the Amazons, Googles, those kind of things on both sides finally because for the past couple of years, those have been very much one-sided uh, markets to the upside. I think we're going to see wonderful opportunities in the broader industry. It's just S&P 500. You know, you buy the, the, the severe dip and then you, you make sure you sell into the rally. So I'm very excited for 2016.